people are always asking me, yeah. and maybe you too, okay. like why are you guys not adding another player yeah. for the BCL, right. you know? Right. So can you please answer that for the netizen? What's up, school fans, and welcome to a very exclusive content. Sekarang ini gue udah sampai di Elite Arena di Bandung. Kalian bisa dengar ya suaranya di dalam. <laughs> Suara coach Dave kayaknya. Jadi sekarang ini gue bela-belain hari ini ke Bandung untuk mampir ke latihan Prawira Harum Bandung karena memang besok mereka akan berangkat ke Mongolia untuk Basketball Champions League. Jadi gue hari ini pengen coba untuk meliput dan juga interview beberapa pemain dan juga coach Dave tentang persiapan mereka ke Mongolia besok ini. Karena gue yakin kalian juga banyak banget yang penasaran dengan persiapannya Prawira uh, dan juga pasti ada yang nanya tuh kenapa Prawira nggak nambah pemain. Wah, ntar kita coba tanyain tuh ke Coach Dave ya. Uh, tapi once again, thank you so much so guys for always supporting the channel. I really appreciate everybody. Dan kalau kalian ingin support channel ini agar gue bisa terus meliput basket, pastikan kalian klik join di bawah untuk jadi member di channel ini. And ya, yeah, kita bentar lagi akan masuk ke dalam dan juga rekam-rekam dikit. And once again, jangan lupa untuk like, jangan lupa untuk secara full juga. Kalau kalian untuk secara full juga akan membantu sekali. Dan juga jangan lupa untuk comment. And once again, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the content guys. Oke, hey, tungguin nih. Was that? They are nice. nice though. They are nice. I like, I like them. Yeah. Dan sekarang kita sama Hans Abraham, Hans. What's up, bro? UPH Blood. <laughs> Hans, uh, kan besok udah mau berangkat nih ke Mongolia. Gue penasaran nih, kok tanding klub internasional nanti itu, lu penasaran tentang apanya nanti tuh? <laughs> Apa yang bikin lu penasaran ntar di Mongolia? Yang jelas level permainannya sih, hmm. jelas level permainannya. Terus juga uh, uh, fisikalnya udah pasti kan hmm. mereka lebih fisikal ya dari kita ya. Apalagi Mongolia udah sempet liat lah beberapa gamenya mereka gitu kayak Gila sih, ngambil volley juga ngeri-ngeri banget, itu kan? <laughs> Galak-galak ngambil yang kasar-kasar. Oh, oh, ngeri-ngeri. <laughs> kayak kayak main bulat jadi. <laughs> Wah, apalagi lu tarik jaga masih lebih tinggi nih. Iya, Kalo asli. Gede, pasti. Waduh. Ya siap-siap aja lah. <laughs> Tapi berarti kalian udah sempet ya nonton video mereka dan juga dipelajarin game ya? Iya, betul. Seberapa banyak tuh biasanya? Nonton, udah dua game, tiga game mungkin ditonton? Uh, ke, kalau nonton bareng sih, mungkin... Hmm. Uh, cuman sekilas ya, sekilas ke satu quarter, dua quarter gitu Cuman uh, dikasih, kita punya aplikasi lah jadi hmm. uh, seru pada nonton sendiri-sendiri sih Terus lu pas tahu kalau Prawira akan ikutan BCL ini reaksi lu seperti apa? Uh, excited banget sih, excited banget terus bangga juga kan Karena kebetulan kita juara juga kan hmm. kemarin jadi uh, dikasih kepercayaan buat uh, ngewakilin Indonesia di BCL gitu Iya sih, pasti seru banget sih dan ini kan di, di Mongolia kayak minus minus empat gitu kalau oh, gue lihat ya dari <laughs> weathernya. Nah kalau untuk lo sendiri itu nah. persiapannya apa nih untuk bermain di yang dingin <laughs> tempat dingin gini? Uh, yang pasti ya beli long john udah pasti ah. ya. Pokoknya baju-baju dingin gue udah udah bawa semua. Pokoknya bawa cara panjang semua gue. <laughs> hitek, nah, udah, udah, udah beli hitek. Hitek udah beli. <laughs> <laughs> itu persiapan penting tuh. Iya udah paling pasti itu hitek nomor satu. <laughs> Tapi kalau sekarang ini pas lu lagi latihan kan, uh, uh. latihannya udah mulai fokus di BCL kan hmm. Kalau Coach Dave sendiri, seminggu terakhir ini apa sih yang difokusin sama dia? Uh, seminggu terakhir uh, yang pasti uh, persiapan kita uh, ngelawan Mongol yang uh. run-rapnya ya hmm. Karena itu game pertama kita, jadi kita step by step lah gitu Sukses ya, thank you, thank thank you so much bro, good luck ya Thank you, thank you okay.
Aduh. Aduh. Nah, belum belum ditanya udah. Aduh. Aduh. Habis latihan. Latihan. Gimana? Ini puasa lancar Mas ya? Puasa lancar. Udah udah riset belum nih puasa di sana berapa jam ntar di Mongolia? Ya, bukanya tuh setengah 8 ya. Setengah 8 oh. jam 8 ya. Oh, oke. Okay. Ya. Udah siap mental ya sana. Coba ya? dulu lah. Kita coba dulu. <laughs> Ferdan, ini pertama kali nggak ikut kompetisi internasional? Pertama kali. Enggak sih, waktu itu hmm. ASG dulu sama hmm. Widi sama Yuda. Kalau dulu siapa lagi? Widi, Yuda, Agassi oh. Yang di Thailand, yang di Chiang Mai Itu yang pertama kali Jadi sekarang tapi rasanya gimana? Wah, udah bisa, lama banget ya <laughs> Bisa merepresentasi prawira <laughs> di level internasional Dan juga akan ketemu sama lawan-lawan nih Itu ya, senang banget sih, ntar. bener lah Senang banget terus dan experience baru ya hmm. Kan kalau di Liga Indonesia kita udah tahu ini shooter ini, hmm. ini udah tahu lah udah udah lebih kebaca lah. Hmm. Cuman kalau di sana kan kita harus mungkin gamenya akan beda, terus adjustmentnya akan lebih cepet. Itu yang perlu kita apa ya fokusin lah. Hmm. Gitu. Kalau offense mah ya sistematis yang ngikutin dev aja lah. Ini defense, defense. Oh, iya. Kalau defense enak, udah offense-nya timnya enak banget. Tapi kok kayak ikut kompetisi internasional gini, ada rasa penasaran nggak sih? Ada nggak sih lu? Aduh, gue penasaran banget deh sama ini ntar di level internasional gitu. Ada nggak speednya kah, strengthnya atau apa gitu? Lebih ke Mungkin ini ya pengalamannya ya hmm. pengalamannya ya kita nggak tahu ya Indonesia tuh di atas Mongolia atau enggak hmm. nah oh, nggak tahu ya game ya. hmm. pertama terus cara mainnya hmm. kan kalau mereka mungkin lebih fisikal ya meskipun saya juga fisikal ya iya. tapi ya saya nggak tahu karena ya itu penasaran lah seberapa kuat sih saya menjaga mereka gitu itulah itu ya saya Ayo penasaran ya penasaran ini kalau kalau Firdan mainnya bagus Tim nasional tolong lah, tolong lah tim nasional, tolong dong ini di, dipanggil lah sekali-sekali Aduh, tim nasional uh... <laughs> Defense-nya ini bagus loh tahun ini, jaga pemain asing terus loh <laughs> Pemain asing so far, ya. so far pemain asing siapa yang paling fear dan bilang paling susah diaga? Dua sih, ada dua pemain dan di, mereka ada di dalam satu tim Boleh uh. ketebak siapa kan? Dewa United, Asi <laughs> Jordan Adams Jordan dan Gelfil Solano Solan. Gila, susah banget itu, susah banget emang. Nah itu, saya akui tidak munafik, uh-huh. jauh banget levelnya, jauh banget. Mau mereka di help secara tim ya, secara individu udah lewat, secara tim juga masih masih bisa ngakali. Tapi dapat pelajaran bagus dong, jaga mereka. Mahal banget, mahal, mahal banget, banget ya? mahal banget, mahal banget, mahal. Baju dingin udah siap? Nah itu saya. Biasa di rumah dingin ya, eh, eh. coba di Mongolia sedih <laughs> Mungkin Mongolia nggak sedingin di rumah saya Nah, <laughs> jadi ketika orang beli jaket ini, jaket winter gini Enggak, mungkin di Mongolia nggak sedingin di rumah saya Minus 4 loh? Di saya belum minus sih, <laughs> tapi dingin sih tapi dingin. Wah, dingin di rumah, dingin berarti, berarti kalau ke rumah Firdan, kalau bertemu ke rumah Firdan harus siapin jaket Harus berarti. siapin jaket, paspor, visa sama <laughs> <laughs> Jauh banget <laughs> Rumahnya jauh ya? Jauh Bandung, Bandung, Bandung Timur, Timur, Bandung yeah. Timur. Ke atas lagi kalau udah ngelihat bintang, pelangi <laughs> ya itu, udah mendekati. Tapi besok satu pesawat ya sama Abang ya. Wah, itu dia. Saya bersyukur sih. Yeah. Ya, seberang uh, satu pesawat kita iya, ya udahlah ada yang jajanin jadi. Ada lah ya. Ada yang jajanin, oh, ada yang jajan. <laughs> ya, itu tujuannya. Itu Abang ya. Abang, oh, abang itu untuk gasar jagain Ade Betul. dan juga traktir Ade. Itu kewajiban. <laughs> Kewajibannya. Thank you Birdan. Doanya ya. Doanya ya, doanya semua doanya yes. terbaik lah. Good Kita mewakili ya. Indonesia. Yes, good luck ya di Mongolia. Amin. Dan Reza siapin kredit kartunya, <laughs> tolong ya. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a nine. Hey, Anthony Seals right here. Woo! Shout out, shout out to Anthony Edwards, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, it's dang hard. Hard. Hey, it's them shoes, coach. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
Oke, okay, representatif Adidas nih. Ini What's up? Yuda Saputra. Ya, makin banyak pakai Adidas. Apakah ini gara-gara lu? Influence. Kita harus influence <laughs> Adidas Indonesia biar semua pada pakai. Ada lima orang loh. Siapa ya? Ada Hester, Timo, Firdan, Lu, Coach Dave. Coach Dave. Hmm. Ya, semoga aja Coach Dave uh, berlanjut ya pakai Adidas ya. <laughs> Coach okay. Dave itu lo yang kasih atau gimana? Uh, enggak sih, jadap gue sendiri Harden ya? Keren Gue aja belum dapet Tolong Adidas Indonesia Ini brand ambassador kita belum dapet katanya Tolongin ya, ini dikirim langsung buat ke Mongolia besok Ini apa kok ini? Treyang Treyang 3 Oh, Treyang 3 Emang gak cobain EI? Katanya EI enak banget Enak banget, kemarin udah nyobain dan menurut gue itu yang sejauh ini paling enak Matunya terus Yud, gimana nih mau merepresentasikan prawira pertama kali di level internasional? Ya, um, excited, excited banget Taruh lo, Pirden, belakang <laughs> nah, Excited, excited hmm. banget karena kan ya, selama ini kan di level internasional masih ya pakainya nama Indonesia kan Nah sekarang yang lebih kesempatan untuk ngebela ya, klub kebanggaan prawira biar bisa berlagak di internasional lah Excited banget lah, excited Cuman, eh jangan terlalu excited Excited untuk dingin nih Uh, katanya kan bakalan dingin banget sekarang sih Excited juga sih Handphone-nya bagus ya Bagus banget Gimana? Ini Timo-nya pakai Adidas loh Timo. Promo code Harden 7 Promo code-nya apa? Yuda Saputra 8 Apa itu promo code? <laughs> Kenapa bisa pakai Adidas? Apakah gara-gara Yuda? Enggak, dia dari dulu oh, Dari dulu, dulu. sebenarnya dari kuliah Terus rupanya Jadi buat kalian yang belum tahu tuh sebenarnya nge-influence Yuda hmm. jadi Adidas itu buat sebenernya. Oh sebenarnya lu ya? Sebenarnya harusnya jadi BA ini. <laughs> berdua harusnya ITHB. Harusnya berdua, ya. harusnya berdua nih ITHB sama ITHB. Ya. Yeah. Anak-anak ini suka nanya-nanya enggak sih? Ataupun lu research enggak sebelum ke Mongolia itu di Mongolia ada makanan apa? Nah, untuk itu belum karena hmm. kan berhubung masih Ramadan, masih hmm. berpuasa di sana. Jadi justru uh, gua bawa, bawa banyak makan dari sini gitu. Hmm. Untuk persiapan sahur gitu-gitu. Tapi udah tahu sahurnya di sana sama apa beda? Beda beda. Oh. Lebih lama, itu lebih lama. Di sana sahur uh, subuhnya pakai jam 6, bukanya jam setengah 8 malam. Wow, game sore. Ya, game sore. Biar lebih long day. Itu strateginya gimana? Mungkin di kan hari pertama kita main jam 8 kan. Jadi hmm. uh, we good, kita ya, pas 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 puasa lah. Hmm. Di hari kedua mungkin yang back to back kan hari keduanya mungkin mau coba bakalan kuat enggak puasa dulu oh. atau enggak. Kalau kuat ya lanjut konsen gak kuat ya mungkin dibatalin kuat lah oke okay. let's go harus lah let's go good luck in Mongolia ya let's go yeah, let's go Alright, we got B Francis. What's up, B? What's up, Rocky man? Thank you for for having me once again. B, going to Mongolia tomorrow. How do you feel, man, by representing Prawira on international level? I feel pretty good, man. We've been working super hard. Um, the team is focused. We focus um, on the ultimate goal, which is going in there to win games. So, I think we we work hard enough. We lock in. We put in a lot of work. A lot of practices. We just had a scrimmage with PJ. We haven't played in two weeks and a half, so you know we just we just got to keep it rolling. But I say that all that to say that I think we prepare and um, we just got to throw the first punch in the first game. What's your expectation though for the BCL? To win, to win one game at a time. We all new to it. You know, we got guys like James that being all over the Euro Cup and the Euro League. Kind of got a little bit more experience. Um, I got a little bit of uh, experience playing in, uh, you know, ACB against Real Madrid, Barcelona, and those teams. But this is a whole different beast, you know. This is different type of basketball and different players uh, with the imports, you know, take a lot of shots and stuff. So um, just one game at a time. Just, just, just lock in and just do the best we can. What was your reaction though when you found out about you're gonna play on an international level with Prawira? It was a good feeling, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I was excited, but at the same time, I feel like I earned it because of the things that we did here last year so but it, it, it was it was a good honor it is an honor a good honor to to for us to go to mongolia and represent not only prawira but the, the whole nation of indonesia and b all start voting number one for the foreign players after just playing three games the fans love you so much man, man. <laughs> it's just a blessing man uh, i let the game speak for myself 
Um, I appreciate it so much. You know, I'm so thankful to be back. I'm so thankful to to, to be here doing what I love. Um, and at the same time, I feel like I deserve to be here doing what I love. Uh, I feel like I earned my right. And, you know, I could have been more excited to be wearing this jersey and put on a show on an all-star, you know. Uh, last year, Lakeen Scott took it home. This year, I'm going to try to take it home myself. 45 points? Nah, <laughs> maybe 30 in the dub. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Hey, good luck in Mongolia, B. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, you man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got James Gish. James, how you doing, man? Hanging in there, hanging in there. Hey, are you ready for Mongolia? It's going to be a good trip, for sure. It's going to be a good trip, man. Never been out that side of the world, but uh, I'm excited to go, man. Get out there and get back to playing. Man, three-week break is slow, huh? <laughs> Tell me about it, man. Practice, 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 and more practice. But uh, now we got some games coming up, man. We got a chance to grow as a team, you know, work on some things that uh, can get us prepared for this part of the season now you know we got a lot of games coming up so uh, i think we're in a good shape right now you came late to this team like but you've been here for like what two months now going on two months yeah how's, how's the chemistry with the guys so far it's going good man i feel like the guys are starting to accept me you know as a player on the team you know leader uh being able to talk and, and help out through my experience of playing you know so many games uh, but you know we're growing we're still growing each day you know we're still growing we're still learning each other uh, but it's it's just becoming good, man. I really like the guys on this team, man. I really like the guys on this team. Coach Dave told me that you like to be, you know, you like to be involved during the film session. Yeah, my <laughs> whole goal, you know, once I'm done playing, I want to get into coaching, man. I really want to get into coaching. Um, after playing 16 years, you know, under so many great coaches, and I've had the opportunity to be coached by three Hall of Fame coaches so far, you know. Um, got a lot of knowledge. Got a lot of knowledge, man. And I just feel like. I can give that back to the next generation coming up. You know, I learned a lot. I learned what wins, I learned what works, I learned what doesn't. Yeah. And so any way I can help, you know, not only with my teammates, but mm -hmm. also help the coaching staff in any any way it matter like that. I just try to give all of my experience in that way. From what you saw with this team, what do you like to see the team improve on? Um our efficiency. Mm. Our scoring efficiency, you know, we can we got a lot of opportunities to score in games, me included, you know, three points, free throws. Uh, through our turnovers, man, I think that we kind of take a lot of opportunities for myself to score. Mm -hmm. And we're still, you know, we won three games in a row, we're playing great defense, but imagine if we take those 20 turnovers and turn those into points, and we take those 15, 16 missed shots and turn those into points, you know, with more focus and just more efficiency, I think that we have a chance to be something really special. How much discussion or talks you had with, like, Firdan, Yuda, the one that controlled the ball the most? Uh, I mean, as a big, I gotta yeah. have a relationship with my yeah. guards, you know, and so I talk to them all the time. I try to find out, you know, find out the best screens that they like, you know. And when I'm passing the ball, how do they like the pass? They like a pass high, they like a pass low, some players like it in the pocket. Um, I talk to them about screen actions when I'm rolling, where to place the ball, things like this, and plays like, you know, where we look. But as a big, you gotta have that kind of relationship with your guards, you know. They're the ones that are maintaining the ball a lot, and. They're the ones that got to give me my passes at the same time, and at the same time, I got to make it easy for them. So we have to have those relationships. And I heard also that you like to change your Instagram handles everywhere you move. Everywhere I move, But yes. you haven't changed it yet now. Because I don't have to contact the Instagram. I got to find out who can get the Instagram so I can change my handle, man. So, I mean, this is a big thing. I've been doing it in every country I've gone to. Now I'm in Indonesia. I really would love to... I don't know, maybe even leave it up to the fans to choose the next handle. I don't know, something like that would be fun, but um, I would like to, but I need somebody's help to get in contact with Instagram. Because apparently Instagram don't got a phone number. They don't got nobody I can just call and say, hey, I want to change my handle. You know, when you got a blue check, you can't just change it so easy. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't change it easy. I didn't even know that. If you don't have a blue check, you could change it every day. But with the blue check, because it's a verified account, I can't. I can't change it. I, can't, I have to get in contact with Instagram, literally. I learned something new today. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> it hasn't been easy, but it's, nothing's impossible. Just one quick question. Um, what's the craziest story about playing in EuroLeague? The EuroLeague? Because I know the fans are crazy. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I played for some really, really good teams, man, with some really big, huge fan bases. Mm. And uh, I'd probably have to say, after my team, we were playing in Greece. I uh, was playing with Panthinaikos. We made it to the playoffs. We were playing Fenerbahce. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, Jellico Obradovic was the coach there. Uh, we had home court advantage, and we lost in series 3-0. Like, we lost. Game three was in Istanbul. The next day, we wake up, and, uh, you know, we assume that we're about to take a plane back to Athens. 
and we just start getting messages on our phone from like the fans like yeah i hope you enjoy the bus ride home and we're like bus ride like what are you talking about we're going to breakfast nobody says anything the gm the president nobody says anything and so we finally asked like yo what's what is going on what's everybody talking about are we getting on the plane they was like uh we gotta ride a bus they paid to get a bus in istanbul to drive back to athens 17 hours 17 hour bus ride man that was probably like the wildest thing I ever experienced or been a part of, man. But uh, got comfortable. <laughs> it took that trip, man. And we made it back to we made it back to Athens, and we ended up. I think we won the we won the Greek League that year. We beat Olympiakos in the Greek Championship. We got a championship trophy. But that year, you know, it was really um, expected for us to make the Final Four and win the Euro League that year. And, and losing in the playoffs like that to the team that ended up winning the Euro League. You know, Fenerbahce won the Euro League that year, so we didn't feel so bad. But you don't you don't like losing and the president apparently in, in Panzanegos he doesn't like losing either. <laughs> thank you for the story and good luck in Mongolia man. No Safe trip, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we probably are Harun Ban we had coach. What's up, coach man? David Singleton, yes, how you sir. doing? Man? We're glad to be back. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I like your smile. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. As the prank, I appreciate that, it, man. That was a top practice yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, it was, it was. Mm -hmm. So this is your first international competition? Yes. Uh, after IBL? Mm. Uh, I mean, after ABL, I'm so sorry. Right. After ABL, you must be really excited about this. I am. I think uh, I always love the ABL setup where you get to go international and travel. And uh, for us to get an opportunity to do it in the domestic league, uh, to go outside. And some of these guys' first time experience in Mongolia, able to go see other places and also compete against other people from different countries. I think it's a beautiful thing. So uh, we're not taking it for granted. We appreciate it. We can't wait. Like you said, some of your local players might not have the experience playing international yet. Yeah. Uh, but what do you want them to learn and take away from this experience? Yeah, I just I think the biggest thing is just like understanding uh, the competition and, and, the, and the energy and the passion that you have to bring to the game. I think anytime you go on an international stage, uh, the, the talent goes up, uh, the will to win goes up, and so the execution, the focus, all that goes up, the details, and so we just got to be sharp, we got to be detailed, we, we really uh, hold everybody accountable to that standard here, as you guys know, uh, as well as we're very detailed and structured in our system, and so I think, uh, I think it'll prove to be helpful for us uh, that we play that way and that's our style, um, but at the end of the day, you never know until you get out there and play, so um, I think it's going to be a big challenge for us, but I also think uh, we're going to be a challenge for others. I mean, the BCL is going to be tougher than IBL. Yeah. And uh, this is, you guys playing on international level yeah. against better players too. Yeah. Um, did you tweak or did you make any change for your practice like to prepare for your BCL? Not so much. I think uh, our biggest thing is just like be who we are, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that we stick to our rules and our principles. At, this, at the same time, like, you know, I think all coaches will say this, you always have to continue to work on yourself. And I think we're still uh, an unfinished product. We're still blending and gelling together and working on our chemistry. So I think it's always just continue to work on yourself. Uh, make sure that you're always pushing your craft forward. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I think everything else will take care of itself. So no changes necessarily. We're always going to plan for the other team. But for us internally, we're just working on what we always do. I mean, you guys are going to have a long travel tomorrow. Yeah. And then, of course, the cold. It's like San Francisco in, in the winter, probably. Yeah. But did you have any talk with the players, like how to prepare themselves to get ready for the games later on? Yeah, you know, I think it's a mental thing. You have to hurt, you have to get over that hurdle. Mm -hmm. I think physically, people are going to feel cold initially. Uh, we made sure that people pack jackets, and, uh, some undersleeves, some long johns, and some tights and things like that. But you, again, like always, like first time I ever went to the East Coast, some from California. Mm -hmm. You can't really plan for that. You just got to wear a jacket and feel the cold, you know, and just get used to it. So I think they got to feel it, get through that first initial day or two, and then put it out of their mind. We can't worry about it's being cold in the gym or whatnot. We just got to play the game. So uh, we understand that it's going to be there and it's going to be a potential factor for certain teams, but we want to make it a non-factor. And by tip off of uh, April 3rd, we don't want to have to worry about the cold. Did you bring your winter clothes? I did it, man. So you have to go shopping? We did. A whole team did. The whole team. We all went shopping. Um, yeah, we all went shopping. Got jackets. <laughs> and uh, I think everybody's going to have a nice jacket. The fun part, we'll see who shows off their jacket and what they're going to have. They're going to have fur. Are the guys going to have big cluffers? I don't know what they're going to come with because some of these guys don't know, really know what type of jacket to get. So uh, that'll be the fun part to see what type of jackets the guys got. Oh, please post it on Instagram. Oh, we're going to take some pictures. <laughs> please. We're going to take some pictures. We're going to take some pictures. <laughs>
first game yep. against Mongolian team, yep. um, Beast Red Metal. Yes. Um, they have Daniel Ocheku. Right. <laughs> right, right. And for he's a former Washington Wizard, and yes. of course, four-year solid pick man in Villanova. Right. Um, how much do you know about this team? Uh, we're learning more about them. I think over the last two weeks, we got a lot of more information about mm -hmm. them. Uh, we understand that they're always a perennial champion at that team or in the finals or playing for the championship. Very strong club, a lot of national team players um, and always good imports. Um, Hester has some experience in, in Mongolia, so he's been giving us some intel and some details on who they are and what they're about. But um, we know enough. I think, I think we've been, been able to study them a lot and they have quality locals. They have some really good players. Um, and then obviously they have solid imports and they made the championship and that wasn't a fluke. Um, they're a good basketball team. So uh, we understand the challenge that it's going to be, but we also, uh, we also believe that uh, we're going to be a challenge for them too. Ochefu against James yeah. Giz? What a matchup, right? Oh my what a God. matchup. Yeah. I mean, two guys, high level experience, mm -hmm. played high level basketball overseas, college. Um, so I think that's going to be a fun sight for the fans. Um, it's going to be a headache for me, but, <laughs> but you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so happy with James, so proud of what he's doing, and so uh, I know James will be more than ready for that matchup, and uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, you got to wait and see how they gel and how their chemistry is, um, but right now, I know we're moving in the right direction. People are always asking me, yeah. and maybe you too, okay. like, why are you guys not adding another player yeah. for the BCL, right. you know? Right. So can you please answer that for the netizens? So, <laughs> Yeah, everybody, I think the biggest thing is we don't want to change. I mean, uh, everything that we've done, we've already made a change, three changes. Mm -hmm. And I think that those changes have provided us a whole different feel for our team, provided success. We started winning and changed the whole dynamic of our team. And so uh, we don't really think we need to change. Um, and we want to give all these imports opportunities to play at this level. I mean, they're the ones that have basically brought us back to Pereira. Um, and we, we trust and believe in them and they're learning our system to bring somebody in new to try to teach them our system Try to give them one or two weeks to try to learn everybody uh, We don't see that as a po positive. We see that as a negative or something that could hurt us So we sticking with Brandon. We're sticking with James. We're sticking with Hess all the way through and uh, we believe that that's enough I know you guys want to win in right. Mongolia. He won the qualify to the second round in right. Jakarta but how important is this trip for building chemistry yeah. and of course also uh, for playing in the postseason later on, it's gonna be important. Yeah, you know, I think uh, this is big. I think this is big. I think us and PJ get an opportunity to experience higher level basketball, um, more situations where you have to be more focused and detailed. And I think that that is gonna help us carry over momentum into our IBL season. And that's why I'm so proud to be a part of this because um, I believe we're gonna advance, but irregardless of anything that happens, we're going to be better because of it. We're going to be better because of competing in this tournament. So um, this is going to be great experience for everybody. We're going to learn a lot from this experience. But like I told the boys, we don't want to just go and experience. We want to go win. We want to go, uh, you know, represent Indonesia. We want to represent Bandung. And we want to, you know, make it to the next round and be in Jakarta so that our fans can come out and, and cheer for us. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a big deal for us. And I think this, that playing there will bring us a lot of momentum and a lot of experience. Game one, how important it is to win and what will be the key to win? It is, I think it's, uh, to me, I think it's the biggest game. I think it's the biggest game because uh, you only get three, you might get four, but the reality is we only want to play three. And uh, it's against the home team. It's at eight o'clock at night. It's on their court with their fans. So we have to understand that um, this is not just even about basketball, this is about mentally being ready as well. Like, understanding the environment, understanding the physicality of the game, understanding you don't know what the referees are gonna do. And you're probably gonna have some moments where you kinda gotta get yourself into the game and feel through the game uh, to kinda try to settle down and settle in. And so uh, we think that the first early stages, first quarters, first five minutes of the game is gonna be extremely important to kind of uh, set ourselves into the game and establish ourselves. And then from there, I think uh, our talent can compete with all these teams and I think we'll be fine. But the first game is extremely important. We want to show well and we want to, we understand how important it is for Mongolia to play well in front of their fans. So uh, we're up for the challenge and we can't wait. Man, I can't wait too, man. We're we all wait, excited, man. man. We guys, don't wait. forget, man, to support Prawira Absolutely. out of Bandu, man. You got to. C come through, man. You guys, we got to see you guys supporting us. We'll be watching. I know you guys will be watching from home and uh, we represent very, very well. Oh, yeah, before I forget, man, how is it, man, to representing Prawira man. on an international level? It's a beautiful thing. I think. Uh, if I'm honest, I, obviously I think this is the first time ever, 
uh, for a team, especially even in Bandung. I know that there's been teams in Surabaya and Jakarta that have represented on an international level, but to be the first team, I believe, in Bandung, uh, representing on an international level is a special occasion. And we don't want to just be that team that made it and then went home. We want to be the team that goes far, uh, puts Bandung on the map on an international level, and that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for people to know that we're from Indonesia, but we're also going to let them know we're also from Bandung specifically. So, uh, yeah, Bandung pride, and uh, we're going we're gonna to represent for you guys. Yes, sir. Good yes, luck, sir. coach. All right, man. I have, appreciate it. Have a safe trip to yes, Mongolia, sir. man. Yes, sir. Get us some wins, Let's bro. Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's go. We will. We will. Yes, sir.